Hey Carly, really excited to be here with you today. Are you ready to share some beehive ingredient knowledge with us? I am always ready to share beehive ingredient knowledge. Carly, what is in that jar you have? I have here some royal jelly. What is royal jelly? Royal jelly you can think of as the colostrum of the hive or the breast milk of the hive. It's a really nourishing, nutritive substance that the bees make. Nurse bees will make royal jelly and they'll give it to all newborn baby bees. So for the first three to five days of development, the newborn baby bees have an exclusive diet of royal jelly. The same way human babies will be drinking formula or breast milk, something really nourishing for the start of their life. So the newborn baby bees will ingest royal jelly for the first three to five days of life and then move on to a more standard bee diet of honey and pollen. And the only bee who maintains her exclusive royal jelly diet is the queen bee. Now, looking at the queen bee, the queen bee is very, very different from the other bees. And her diet plays a key role here. So the queen bee exclusively eats royal jelly. She develops very differently. For one, the queen bee can have up to 1400 babies a day. Whereas regular female bees don't have reproductive organs. The queen bee really rules the hive. The hive needs her to survive, and she's much larger and more robust. If you look up a picture of a queen bee, you'll notice compared to the other worker bees, she's pretty jacked. And so royal jelly is playing a really key role in her development. What about lifespan? How long does the queen live? That's a great question. Everyone's obsessed with longevity, and in a lot of cultures, royal jelly is known as the longevity tonic. In the hive, the queen bee lives significantly longer than all the other bees. The queen bee will live three to five years. So royal jelly makes a huge difference. Worker bees will, in some cases, during foraging season, live a matter of months. Give me the royal jelly. So why should I take royal jelly? So many reasons. This one is really interesting. Royal jelly was a huge part of my pregnancy journey. You can see I'm pregnant right now. Um, in a lot of cultures, particularly in traditional Chinese medicine, royal jelly is known as a fertility tonic. So for me, I was using royal jelly every single day, which I loved. But if you're looking at Western science, a lot of the science has focused on how royal jelly can impact the brain. Royal jelly plays a really important role when it comes to brain health. For one, it's really high in acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter, which helps with brain body transmission. So you can think of royal jelly as helping to support your overall messaging system. Royal jelly also contains these two naturally occurring fatty acids that are only naturally occurring in royal jelly. They're called 10-HDA and AMPN1 oxide. Both of these fatty acids act as catalysts for neurogenesis. So they promote brain-derived nootropic factor, and they literally help your brain to create new, clean, fresh brain cells. So what we're seeing is a lot of people are using royal jelly to just support their brain, support performance. I definitely use royal jelly as a productivity hack. I use it for memory. I use it when I'm working. But we're also seeing people using royal jelly for things like concussion recovery. I know that's how you used it, and that's kind of how we formulated one of our products that I'll speak to in a moment. But there's been some really interesting studies on royal jelly. There was a study that came out of the University of Warsaw that found that regular consumption of royal jelly actually increases your spatial reasoning, and that's why athletes love royal jelly. Royal jelly sounds amazing. How can I take royal jelly? Well, we have one of my favorite products here are Royal Jelly Brain Nootropic. So this is a product, I use this usually around 2 p.m. when I kind of start hitting a wall with work when I've been going for a really long time. And for me, it's a way to really cut through the fog, turn my brain on and just continue crushing it. A lot of people, myself included, have seriously cut back on their caffeine intake by using these brain nootropic shots. So Royal Jelly, it's amazing for your brain. And then we also have two other ingredients in here that are really powerful when it comes to brain health. One is called Bacopa Monnieri. It's an extract from a leaf that was traditionally used in Ayurvedic medicine. It's really well known for supporting brain health. People have shown that it supports memory. And then the other compound in here, it's called Ginkgo Biloba. It's an adaptogen. It's an extract from a tree that's really popular in traditional Chinese medicine. So we've got three powerful natural ingredients here to really turn the light on and help you focus, concentrate. I know my sister who is soon to graduate dental school, 
her and her friends use this for every exam. They're always using it when they're studying. It's a tool that I wish I had when I was a student, but it is definitely something that helps me hack my productivity today. How can I incorporate <laughs> royal jelly into my routine? Great question. So you can take a shot, our brain nootropic shot. It's really easy to take. You literally take the cap off and throw it back. You can do this any time of day. I don't recommend taking it before bed unless you are trying to have a late night, but this is a great way to support focus, memory, concentration, to naturally support your energy levels. For me, I've really cut out that afternoon cup of coffee. So you can really take this as needed. If you're studying for an exam, throw it back before you start studying. If you're going into a big meeting, you can take it. We see a lot of athletes who will use this before a game to really sharpen their spatial reasoning and just get in the zone. But it really is a way to naturally support your overall brain health and enhance focus. How does it feel? Amazing, it's kind of like cutting through the fog or turning a light switch on. Um, I use this at least five days a week. I'm, it's always being used during my work day. I try not to pull all-nighters anymore, but occasionally I have to, and this is a really critical part of my life. So I really love this product. It's also completely changed my relationship with caffeine. I used to be having five or six cups of coffee. It wasn't great, um, but bringing this into my life, I've really cut back to one or two cups a day, really only in the morning hours. I take this in the afternoon, and it kind of gets me over that afternoon slum and I'm able to just keep crushing it. So as you know, I love drinking coffee, Cortados in particular. I do know this. Can I also take brain nootropic with a coffee? You totally can. Our brain nootropic, it will help to support energy levels, but it won't give you any of the coffee jitters. So it's actually really nice for people that want to continue their coffee habit, but want to support overall brain health, support memory, focus, mental clarity, and still have their caffeine. We have tons of customers, I know you're one of them, who will have their coffee, take a brain fuel, and then get back to work. I am down to only one a day now. Thank you, Brain Nootropic. We have tons of customers, I know you're one of them, who will have a coffee, take their Brain Nootropic shot, and get back to work. Let's go seize the day. <laughs> Carly, tell me about the story behind this amazing product. Well, this is a product that was made and inspired by you. You've had a lot of concussions. I know this, our team knows this, but not everyone knows this. My co-founder, Daniel, was actually quite the hockey player in his day, like a good Canadian boy. And he's also a great skier. And he had a number of very serious concussions. And the last concussion you had was your most serious one. You were skiing and you were knocked unconscious. And your brother called me and I got really nervous as did all of your friends and I put together this formula. I, I started doing a ton of research on how to naturally support brain health, how to support regeneration, um, what happens when someone gets concussed and really just thinking about using the tools that we had with the company we were just starting at that time, how we could solve this problem for you. And we put together this formula using royal jelly, which is the brain food, the superfood of the hive. It's incredibly nourishing. And there's just been a lot of science looking at how it affects the brain. So that was a key part of our formula. And then we included ginkgo biloba and bacopa monnieri. And the amazing thing is that it was your worst concussion and your best recovery. And look at you now, chief growth officer crushing it. I am very grateful. Fast forward a couple years, dare I say my brain is better than it was. I'd agree. Carly, thank you so much for chatting with me today. I really learned a lot. Amazing, it was so much fun to share more about the Hive and all of these incredible ingredients and how they can help you feel well.